Okay, so here's some things I want to show you real quick. If I take a box and put it into Tinkercad, I can smush the box down by grabbing this center dot. I can make it wider by grabbing any of the corners. If I grab the center one, oops, if I grab the center one, I can move it up, I can move it down. And now my personal favorite, if I want to raise it in space, I go to the cone and I lift it up. And now you can see that it says it's 63 millimeters higher than it was before. I'm going to put it all the way back down to zero because I like it on my plane there. Now, uh, one problem that a lot of people are having is getting an object to stack on top of another because when you put it here, hang on, now it's through it, but it's not necessarily on top of it. So you can use the cone to raise it, right? but then you have to check, oh, and I went the wrong way, to make sure it's still touching, and that's not ideal. What I like to do, I'm going to hit backspace to delete that, is I like to go over here to my work plane, put my work plane on top of the shape. Then when I lay this down on top of it, it's exactly where I want it to be. And now I can simply put the work plane back where it belongs. And now I know I've got a nice connection there between those two objects. Um, way to punch a hole. Let's say I wanted to make this a keychain. I'm going to delete that. Let's give this more of a keychain-y kind of look. All right. And I'm going to take my cylinder, and I'm going to put it right on top. Now this time I want it to go through, so I want it to be on the ground and through. Now that the cylinder is still highlighted, you see the blue highlight around it, I can go here to the hole button, and I've just punched a hole between these that object. Now if I hold down shift, and I'm selecting the cylinder and my rectangle, I can hit the group button and check it out. Now there's a hole through the cylinder, that I, or now there's a, a circle hole, a cylinder hole, that I can see going right through the keychain. That makes it very, very easy to then drop my letters on top. Um, those are just a couple of Tinkercad tricks that I hope you find useful.